Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky Tech. And in today's video, what we have is we have a brand new update for Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's dive in and see exactly what is going on. Now, before we dive in, if you want to download this powerful wallpaper, which is normally paid, but it is free right now, all you want to do is you want to click the link down below. Once you click the link, it'll be at my website. And you want to scroll down to wallpaper number four right here. Click the link. It'll take you to the store and you can download this for free from the Galaxy Wallpaper Store. So that said, now let's look at the actual updates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to go all the way down to software update. When you click that, you're going to see we have a brand new update when you tap on download and install. And if I swipe down, this in fact is the January 1st, 2023 update for the latest security patch levels. The size is 384 megabytes, and you can see it ends in BVL4. This is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, but it's going to trickle down to other smartphones as well. And we have a what's new list here. So let me update this. We'll be right back. I'm going to show you exactly what is new, if there are any new features. All right, so the update is not complete. Let's see what is going on. So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys, if you go to your settings and if you go to about phone, let's just tap in about phone under search. Once the results pop, you can tap on software information right here. Click on it and then click on software information again. Go all the way down and tap on Android security patch level. Now, when you click on it, it's going to take you to the Android's website. From there, you can go to Samsung's website. And over here, what you are able to do is see all the actual security vulnerabilities that were fixed for January 2023. And you can see we have a lot of high vulnerabilities that were patched. Nothing in moderate, just everything seems to be high, but also nothing critical. So it seems like this is a very important security update. I can see here, looks like we have almost 50 plus fixes for the security of your phone. Now there is one thing you want to quickly take a look at with this update is you want to go to the Galaxy Store. After you update your phone and you go to the Galaxy Store, you might end up seeing this pop up. It is about improving your ads experience. Now personally, I reject these things that have to do with ads most of the time on my smartphones. If you want, you can accept it, okay? But reject and configure. And then you can see I have these disabled. And then I say, confirm my choices. If you click this by mistake, it's going to allow and accept everything. So confirm my choices that I don't want these. So tap on this, and then you're going to be good to go with the Galaxy Store. Overall, the phone feels nice and smooth. Now, this time particularly, it doesn't feel any smoother than before. Phone's been running like a champion for a while now. But if I go back into the settings and go to software update and tap on the download and install or tap on last update, you can see it says we have some device stability improvements, bug fixes, new and or enhanced features. I can tell you there is nothing new, but enhanced feature means existing features work better. And then we have some improvements to performance. All these are going to be subtle changes. The biggest thing in this update, I believe, is the security patch. Now, I do like to go to the camera and just see if it works any better than before as far as smoothness is concerned. So if I uh, swipe back and forth, you know, switching is pretty decent. So that's great. But again, nothing dramatically different this time. But that's basically it. Mostly the security and some minor improvements under the hood. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.